Here's a house that I had made. I'd spent many hours making. Nah, just joking. But anyway, uh, let's say that I've had this house made and uh, I had it for a while. And I, for some reason, I forgot to add a front door to it. And let's say I had already made it a front door a while back ago. And I want to uh, maybe cut a hole through this uh, house here, the same shape as the uh, front door. Now, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use Boolean to do this. But first of all, let's take a look at the door here. As you can see where the lines are at and where the points are at, I kind of want to use this as a reference to match somewhere in the house. For starters, uh, the top of the door, I want to match with the peak of the house. But, let's say, hey, I don't want the door, uh, I want it off center to the left. We can adjust that later, but for, for right now, I'm going to center it. And uh, I want to try getting some reference points here to match up. So I know the top of the door, top of the peak of the house is a good reference. So, I'm with the door selected, I'm going to Utilities tab and Snap a line. And I'll select the top of the door and peak of the house. Go to front view mode. As you can see, they're perfectly aligned. And I'll just bring this straight down. And like I said, uh, we can adjust this later. No, no biggie. And we'll just pull this out just a little bit. And we're going to use Boolean. First, we need to select the house. Surface Modeling tab, Boolean, and we'll find one that'll put a hole through here. Now, you can use Boolean because uh, it'll give you a visual effect of what it's going to look like, which it does look good. Um, it resembles the shape of the uh, doorway. Let's validate it. Now, when I clicked it, uh, you can see these have points around the doorway but you cannot see it in the program that these points are actually connected to another point when I subdivide it and sometimes they get really out of whack sometimes this top point here might not go straight up to this point it might shoot over to the left Boolean gives you bad geometry that's why uh, it looks good but in other applications, uh, it doesn't look good, or when you subdivide it, it just turns into a big old mess. So, we're just going to go ahead and, uh, I'll just collapse geometry here. I'm going to the front view mode. I'm going to select edge face here. I'm going to right click and drag. And I'm going to go to edit, copy, and edit, paste. Now, before I started, I could have almost did the same thing. You could do this different ways. I could have grabbed the edges around the door and booleaned it. Uh, there's more than one way, so this just ain't one way that you can do it. So, we'll just go ahead and hide the house here. And we're going to use the ruled surface. Let me go to front view mode. And this uh, kind of depends where you click at. So I'm going to click on the top of the house. And then I'm going to click here. Looks good. But let's take a look at it one more time. Select the object. And this is a little bit out of whack. The lines don't go across like they, uh, this one goes down. This one goes up. So I control Z this and I'm going to select the outer half here on the edge and this one. Then I'm going to the line tools and use line tessellate. There's my two two new points. I kind of want to match them across where the door points are. Let's take a look at the door point here. Now when I move this up and down, 
in the y-axis I want you to look at the values which one moves it looks like the middle one's moving control Z that we're gonna copy this value here and we're gonna apply it to these two new points select here shift click here and we're gonna press paste the new value in here and that way they're kinda there are actually straight across from each other we'll go back over to the uh, ruled surface and retry this select the top one select them I mean the top of the uh, house peak and the top of the doorway and let's take a look at it ah very much better now it looks more uniform alright let's tip this to the side here and let's take a look at the house alright I can do uh, one thing I could select the uh, edge here and loop then I can uh, just hide the house here hold the control key down and extrude it uh, that is one way then you can do some final tweaking towards the end but I control Z that but let's say this back of the house had a maybe a garage that went off to the right out to the back got smaller than went out to the right my extrude is not gonna work for that so what I'll need to do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select the house here and we need to go ahead and delete the front of it and we'll go ahead and bring this up close now if you notice where these lines are at right here it kinda needs one that goes all the way around the house or connects to it as you can see here this now the peaks got the peak of the uh, let me let me uh, just undo this a little bit sorry about that let me separate these just a little bit as you can see the peak of the house here and the front of the uh, the new doorway these line up these two corners line up the two bottoms line up but I don't have one here for the center so I'm gonna need to make one on the house that is the center so I'll select up here a little bit and I'll go ahead and lock this one here so it's not active let me unlock that real quick turn the transparency on go to the vertex modeling and we'll use a slice I went ahead and made that uh, so it is selectable I was gonna lock it but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hold the shift key down where it snaps to the front of the house all right but this time I'm gonna let go of the shift key because I I'm holding the shift key down because I want to get on the uh, point here on the front of the house then I'm just gonna let go of the shift key and drag over to the house to the right side and click that way I can have some good alignment where else do I need uh, two together out oh, here's one in the bottom hold the shift key here to the front of the house then let go of the shift key drag it to the bottom and click it looked like it worked good let's validate it it won't be uh, on the bottom of it but uh, when I had a transparency on I seen something that happened to the back whoops and that can happen to you so we'll just go ahead and clean this little mess up real quick I didn't want that one there let's make sure I'm selecting just a house here I didn't want that one there and that one there press uh, backspace on the keyboard select the point mode and uh, I want this to continue around the house and press connect alright 
let's take a look now you can see that the line is going to be continuous from the front of the house to the uh, the side of the house all right now we need to go ahead and uh, scoot this uh, these two pieces together quite a bit or pretty close I'm gonna leave a little gap so you can see here leave a little bit more gap so you can see it then I'm gonna press weld weld all and before I press weld all you'll notice these two here and now I have one uh, form here then I'm gonna press the average weld and what this is gonna try doing is it's gonna try taking the matching points from the front of the house to the side of the house so I'll click here I don't want to overdo it they seem to snap together fine there let's take a look at the uh, bottom and we'll validate it now when I subdivide it it looks uh, you can see now they're all sticking the lines are sticking together as they're flowing from the front of the house to the side of the house with booing it would go from here to the top or from here to the bottom and you're probably saying well why would you want to subdivide the house well and make it round like that well a lot of times you'd use a uh, chamfer and um, to tighten up the edges so they don't buckle up so bad like that but I'm not going to get into that but since we got a good edge flow going around here it's a lot better geometry and like I said if you wanted to adjust the front door a little bit that's not a problem we'll just go ahead and uh, select the edge here and loop it and we'll just go ahead and adjust it over here but see the, the trick is that I want to uh, make sure my front doorway points have another point to the house to connect to or at least in the right direction and I was using the uh, booing to just give a kind of a reference of what it's gonna look like and uh, a lot of people don't like using booing but uh, when you can get a visual effect and then use it with real surface it can come in uh, come in handy pretty good but anyway thank you very much let's just try this real quick with uh, thickness and see what it looks like thank you